Hello you wonderful people! Now the time for gifts is coming and some of us know an artist, who we want to gift a little something or are artists ourselves. So we want to be inspired and maybe give ourselves a little gift too. In this video I will show you my favorite art supplies which I have tried out this year and this might be a guide for you or inspire you. This video is also a collab between a Hatfell, Confused Kid Ginger, Eve Bolt, Penholder Art and myself. <clears throat> Every one of us created a video with our favorites. The videos are linked down below so you might take a look at the things other would recommend. I tried to st structure my favorites by creating sets for beginners, intermediate and advanced users. So there are supplies which are affordable and fun for every level of skill. Every set has a paper, some paints and brushes, which I would recommend. All the product products are linked in the description box. Let's start with the beginner set. In the first set there is the Hahnemühle Britannia paper, which has a nice texture and is easy to paint on. Sadly it doesn't work well with masking flu or fluid on masking tape, but it seems to depend on the charge a lot, as I had a pad where neither was an issue. For the paint I used the Royal Talents Van Gogh watercolors, which came in this wonderful wooden box. There are other sets too, which are a little cheaper and easier to take with you on the go. The paints re uh, re easily and are nice and vibrant. Also in the set were the Van Gogh brushes, that aren't bad at all. As a plus I would also choose a quill, which holds much water, but also is great for more expressive paintings. As you can see, I have demos of paintings where I combined all these products to show how they work together for the most accurate reference. The beginner set is one that is made for teens who love to paint or anyone just starting out with watercolors. It's a set that isn't too expensive to get and a good starting point. The quality is decent and it won't discourage the artist to be from diving into that hobby. It also can be very well used by crafters who don't use watercolors as the main medium, but just want paints and paper that do their job. But be careful. None of these sets is for kids, as the paints might be toxic or have heavy metals in them. The Intermediate Set This set has the Gersica Centenaire 100% cotton watercolor paper. This is the cheapest cotton watercolor paper which I could find, here in Germany at least. I know in other parts of the world there is the B paper or other brands which I have never tried. For me this paper was a great find and I use it ever since for paintings and all the swatches I create for suncolors.com. In combination with this paper I use the White Knights Artist Quality Watercolors, which I was gifted by friends and family. They're, they are awesome quality for a great price in comparison to western brands. The set of Da Vinci Nova brushes was also a gift from a partner and they work very well. They can hold a nice amount of water and keep their point nicely. The Nova brushes are synthetic and have a nice spring to them. They are a little stiffer than natural hair would be, but I like brushes a lot that can, that can, hold, their, that can hold their point, especially for detailed work. The cat in the painting is one that belongs to a Hartfell, a Hartfell's dead by the way. The speed paint is yet to come. Now there is the set for advanced users. What to give an artist who works already professionally and maybe has their own supplies. Or someone who wants to the jump to higher quality materials or just have something really rare and special. This is a difficult gift to give. For the paper I choose my absolute absolute um, favorite, which is the Fabriana Artistical 100% cotton paper in traditional white. The paper has nice texture and a soft cream color, which adds warmth to the paintings. 
The black velvet brushes are my go-to brushes for almost every painting. They are soft and fluffy, keep a great point and hold an immense amount of water. For the looser paintings, I still prefer a quilt though. As for the paints, professional artists most of the time have a style and color palette already that they like. So I would go with a nice set of colors. Great are the corsets, which have nice sets of colors that go together well in a great quality. Assuming that the artist doesn't have a corset already. But what I probably would prefer are handmade paints. Paint makers put so much effort and love in their products that they are just a joy to use. They are always on the lookout for new, beloved or rare pigments to make into precious paints. Some prefer sing single pigments, some have individual mixes. Most of them have paint themselves and fill the gaps that bigger art supply companies leave. Even then are both paint, ma paint makers, so I use their paints to prepare the demo piece. I will link to all the paint makers I ever bought from down in the description box, but there are many more out there. Some might be even close to you. These pens are just precious to me, so much more than my other paints. A very special gift could be the Agayo wooden palette, which just feels luxurious. But a tiny tin with a bunch, a bunch of handmade paints would be just appreciate, I'm sure. Keep in mind that I put together the set with Germany or Europe in mind. The price, prices may vary a lot for you, so make the best decision for you. Compare the quality and the prices and buy only buy supplies when they spark joy. Before this video ends, I would love to know what your favorite supplies of 2019 are. Please leave them in the comments below. Use hashtag I am an artist in the comments for a shout out in my next video or tag me on Instagram. Um, this is still ongoing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little guide and the video that you have new, new ideas now and feel inspired. Have a wonderful second advent and a creative day. Bye.